Tennessee's Wild Side is a presentation of the Jackson Foundation. We told you earlier that if you stayed with us to the end of our show, we would introduce you to a little girl named Lucy who found true love at Miss Lana's Fainting Goats Farm. Well, Lucy's only five years old, but she's taken on the responsibility of raising five baby goats. One of them chose her. It was identified at birth with the letter A and the number one. It seems to fit the little goat so well, it looks like Lucy will keep it as the name. pick some pumpkins out and that's how I know her name. Here's the bottom and when you go in the gate you can call him and he'll come running. I won! I won! Why I want to go is because they're so they're so so cute and I like them. I want one. <laughs> He's thirsty. Me and Daddy wanted it, and we thought it was the cutest. I wanted to get Lucy a pony. Mom wanted to get her goats, so we compromised and got goats. <laughs> Mom won. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she won that. She won that battle there. So she'll probably get a, a, a good month of, of bottle feeding. And thankfully, he's the only one right now. We don't have to bottle feed all of them. When we first looked at the baby goats and we tried to get them. Um, every time I would put him down, he would run up and jump to me. And I would try to pick him up and try to not let him go down because he would jump up to me. We're going to teach her about starting with daily chores as far as feeding and watering and just taking care of them, you know, trying to notice if they don't feel well, notice if we need to go to the vet. He's all done. Daddy used to have a big gallon of water and he would bring water and food and so we could feed our other goats we used to have but now they're up in heaven. You see? <laughs> That's a trick I teach him. I turn him, I teach him how to spin around. I'm the first generation on the farm that I own. My family has farmed in this area for years and I'm a fourth generation row crop farmer. My, my family's farmed corn, wheat, and soybeans. I grew some tobacco for a little while and that sort of died out and when that did we decided to start farming people. We do events and on farm festivals and some pumpkins in the fall and so it's a it's a little it's a little different way of life but agritourism has helped us out tremendously aside from the traditional ways of farming I guess. I don't know what really colors but I'm gonna pick that color and maybe that color, and maybe one more color of that. He's eating my ponytail! I guess he likes me a lot. You want him to have buddies to play with, and we've been doing events for almost 10 years now, I guess, so um, we hope that these goats can, can live a long life there and, and be loved on and rubbed on and petted on all, you know, year Bring round. A smile to their faces. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, not only our kids' faces, obviously, but but uh, all faces that come out to the farm to visit. Do you think goats are smart? Yep, let me see if I can try to do a trick. A one, sit. A one, sit. Do you think he knows what that means? <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. Well, you go pick out your other goats. Thank you so much. You did a really good job. Well, there's no real rhyme or reason. I like the coloration on this one here. He's pretty. That mainly we just picked him because of the color and the little black and white one there. He reminds me of a little dairy calf. Is he heavy? Yes. <laughs> He's very heavy. I've known Miss Lana since I've been in the world. I've grown up here my entire life and my grandparents went to school with Miss Lana's husband, Mr. Will Ed, and and so they've been lifelong friends of the family. So I've, I've known them for my 35 years and went to church with them and just good friends with them forever. I think they got plenty of room. We only got about a mile to go. Ready to take them to their new home? Do you cry when they leave? The first few, I really cried. 
that I'm, now I'm sad for the mamas because they'll cry. I am going to put him in my pen and play with him every day after school. Do you think he'll be sad tonight without his mama? No. Are you his new mama? <laughs> Lane is going to be hard to keep out of the pen at all times. He's going to want to be in there all the time. What would you like to say to your mom and dad? Thank you. We applaud Lana's ability to love these little goats like her own children and then watch them leave for a new life. But our story doesn't end with the cries of a mama goat. The day after A1 went to live with Lucy, her dad sent us a message that A1 was adjusting nicely and already loves afternoon rides around Red River Farm. 